Hello everyone, welcome back today. Inside this video, you'll find a wealth of knowledge to help you master the N400 questions and their essential vocabularies. We understand that it can be a complex and daunting endeavor, but rest assured, you're not alone. We're here to make it as easy as possible so that you can understand, memorize, and remember very easily. Hope you will be watching till the end for your understanding. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and join us in this exciting endeavor. Together, we'll unlock the door to the American dream. Let's get started. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication? No. What is deferred adjudication? Such as community service. Had you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does U.S. Armed Forces mean? U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Do you know what legally incompetent means? Can't make any decision as per law because of mental problem. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What is national origin? Where a person is from. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or gain immigration benefits in the United States? No, never. What does it mean to lie? To say something that is not true. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Define illegal. Any act which is forbidden by law. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What does religion mean? A belief in God. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other place where people were forced to stay? No.
Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. What is non-U.S. resident? A person who does not live in the U.S. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Define deserted. To abandon. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No, never. What do you mean by involve? To take part in. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a military unit? No. What is military unit? A formal group of people that works for government. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Can you explain what mental institution is? Hospital for people with mental problems. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. What is selective service? Services and armed forces under law. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. What is illegal drugs or narcotics? Like heroin or cocaine. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, of course. What does the Constitution mean? It is the supreme law of the land. Do you now have, or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Please define hereditary title. A royal title such as prince or princess. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Define dependent. Someone who relies on another person. Were you ever a worker, volunteer or soldier? Or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? 
No. Please define prison or jail. A place where prisoners are kept. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. Define combat. To fight in a war. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Please define claim. To say something is true. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a self-defense unit? No. What is a self-defense unit? A unit that protects itself against any attack without others' help. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? No, never. What is a terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you know what vote means? To elect new leaders. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No, never. What does Communist Party mean? No freedom like China. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? No. What is labor camp? A place where people are forced to work.
Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. What does controlled substances mean? Bias per doctor's prescription. Did you work for or associate in any way with any government in any area occupied by, allied with, or established with the help of the Nazi government of Germany? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in paramilitary unit? No officer. What is a paramilitary unit? Like a military group, but not official. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I do. Do you understand what civilian direction means? A direction from a person who is not in the military. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Define drafted. Being selected as a soldier. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a military unit? No. What is participate meaning? To be a part of. Have you ever committed? assisted in committing or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does offense mean? A minor crime. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. What does confined means? To be kept in a place. Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated or disciplined, or have you received an other than honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Define disciplined. Punished for doing something wrong. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. Do you understand what misrepresentation is? To provide wrong information. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? 
No. What is genocide? To kill a whole race. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption for military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What is an exemption? Special permission for not doing something. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does registered mean? To sign up. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What does diversion mean? A different program to avoid jail time. Were you ever involved in any way with not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. What does religion mean? A belief in God. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Define permanent resident. Lawfully authorized to live permanently.